Nonpartisan group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, or CREW, has done a study of family members who are paid by campaigns one way or another. And the list includes about two-thirds of the Texas congressional delegation. Uh, Jeb Henserling, for example, is uh, 35 on our list of people who have reimbursed themselves a lot of money. So that means out of the 248 members who are included in this report, he's uh, 35th on this list of reimbursements. There are a lot of members of Congress who don't reimburse themselves at all. I think there are other things that um, I, I think the public might be more concerned about, and that's, for example, when you start reimbursing family members. Uh, what exactly were these family members doing on the campaign that they needed to receive money? Mrs. Louie Gohmert was paid $37,376 by the congressman's campaign in 2008. She is now the public relations contact for the charity Mercy Ships, to which the campaign made a $250 contribution. When you made a donation to a campaign committee, you didn't think your money was then going to be transferred to a charity, which you may or may not support. Ralph Hall employed his daughter in law as a campaign advisor and rented off his face from his son. Democrats, too, are on the list. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee of Houston earmarked a total of $5 million to the University of Houston system, of which her husband is vice chancellor. And Congressman Gene Green of Houston is on the list as well. But the biggest congressional employer of family will surprise you. Ron Paul hires, and this is just on his campaign committee, not to do with his presidential, he hires uh, six members of his family on his campaign committee. When uh, he uh, complained about uh, our study, which uh, it was in fact uh, a relative of his who was uh, serving as communication director who was complaining about us.